Alright guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to LunarClient.com and when you get to this page, you're going to want to click download and depending on what PC you have, you're going to want to click the one that's according to your PC. So I have a Windows PC, so I'm going to be clicking down on this one and uh, that's pretty much it. Once you have Lunar installed, go through with the setup and the installing and that part should be finished. Another thing you're going to want to do is go to the settings tab in Lunar Client and you're going to want to go to allocated memory. I have mine set to 6, but you can also mess around with this and this will also help your FPS as well. Now once you're in game, you're going to realize that your FPS is a little shot, okay? What, what shot means is it's a little bit down from what it normally is, um, depending on what your PC build is. And that's okay because uh, the textures on this server are very intensive on computers, so that's why you're experiencing FPS lag. But if you do these two simple tricks, you remove your uh, your scoreboard here, and you remove your boss bar at the top. And that should give you a nice FPS boost, as you can see. Now I will be showing you the best Minecraft settings. What you want to do is go to your options, video settings, and you can just copy some of my settings here. Depending on your PC, if, if you have uh, a PC that's not so good, you might want to turn these down for uh, for render distance, and you can just mess around with that. This is all the other settings I have. I have my uh, frame rate on max. My GUI scale 3. I don't think GUI scale really affects anything though. I have my V-Sync off. I don't really like V-Sync because it locks your FPS at 60, I'm pretty sure. So I do not uh, play with V-Sync. I like to have the unlimited uh, FPS option. Um, everything else is pretty much here. Uh, for quality, I have my graphics set to fast, my clouds off. For my weather, I have it set to default right now, but you can change it to fast if you'd like. If you'd like that extra boost. Same with uh, the leaves quality. Uh, for particles, you could uh, change these and make them uh, decrease. Decrease will help a lot with FPS as well, but I just like them all. Smooth lighting, I don't think this really affects anything. Biome blend, I don't think this really affects anything, but I have it set to 2. Vignette is off. I have my entity shadows on, and my entity distance is set to 100, and my map, map levels are at 0. Now for my performance settings, I have my chunk update threads to default. My Always defer chunk updates not checked, and I have all of these uh, settings just enabled. And if I go to my advanced settings, this is what my advanced settings look like. Once again, uh, if you have a PC that's not really good, I will leave my PC specs in the description. If you have a PC that's not really good, uh, you should mess around with these settings over here and see what uh, works for you. Definitely set these to fast instead of default or fancy, because that will definitely help you with your FPS. Also, if you go to your Lunar Client and you click on your mod section, you click on your settings and click on performance, you have some settings over here that you could change as well. I have my lazy chunk loading to medium, but this also helps very significantly. If you set it to lowest, and you can have the highest possible FPS boost that you are looking for. And all my other shadows and all my other settings as well, these are just set to my liking once again. You can just mess around with these, put them to the lowest if you would like uh, extra options to get better FPS. Another thing that the server also individually has is if you go and type slash settings, you go over here to player head visibility, you should select that and turn that off because that does affect your FPS as well. Same with the dam uh, the damage indicators and um, it's pretty much it. If you don't like the party glow, you can turn it off too. I'm pretty sure that will help boost a little bit FPS. But uh, pretty much back to this section, you have your player head visibility, turn that off. You can turn your damage indicators off and you can turn off the party glow and that should boost your FPS as well. And that's pretty much it. This video is pretty short but simple. I want to keep it as efficient as possible. If it did help you at all, if any of these tips help you at all, be sure to leave a like on the video. It'll help me greatly. And subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be posting MCC Island content very soon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, peace out.